today we are going to discuss about closure property of regular expression but before we start a small information i'd like to share in this channel we produce every video in two different languages hindi as well as english and if you want to watch this video in hindi kindly follow the link given in the description and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel so let's so let us start In our previous videos we have already discussed what is regular set what is regular expression and what is regular languages so in this video we are going to discuss about closure properties of regular languages basically there are eight closure property of regular languages in this video we are going to cover the first four before going to learn about the closure property of regular languages let us try to understand what actually is closure property a set is closed under a operation if performance of that operation on the members of the set always produce members of that set what is the meaning of that let us say we are taking a set of integers and from that we are taking two integers let us say a and b and we are performing a operation called addition and the resultant of a plus b is again a integer so that's why the resultant is again belongs to that particular set that's why we can say the plus operation under integers is closed let us take one more example the same set of integers we are taking and we are taking two elements from that and we are performing division operation and if we take any two integer and if we'll perform division the operation may not be closed why 6 divided by 2 3 i can get and 3 is an integer 5 divided by 2 the resultant is not an integer value so that's why division operation on the set of integers is not closed let us take one more example we are having a set containing four elements 1 2 3 and 4 and let us try to perform the addition operation here if i take any two elements and i perform addition operation let us take 2 and 4 2 plus 4 is 6 and 6 is not a part of this particular set in this set i cannot say plus operation is closed now you understand what is closure property let us try to learn the closure properties of regular languages as i have already told if i take two regular languages then union of those two languages intersection of those two languages difference of those two languages then concatenation of those two languages will be regular apart from that complement reversal closure and homomorphism are also regular the proof of these properties are available in any book we are not going to discuss the proof here in this video we are going to take example and try to make you understand what is the meaning of it union of two regular languages is regular so the theorem says if l1 and l2 are two regular languages then l1 union l2 also will be a regular language let us take an example let us say l1 is a regular language which contain element a a cube e to the power 5 all the odd powers of a and l2 is another language where the elements are like a square e to the power 4 e to the power 6 all the even powers of a then if i perform union operation i'll be having a a square a cube e to the power 4 and all this so if i want to generate a regular expression for this i can say a a star is a regular expression we know that dfa recognizes regular languages now let us try to generate the regular language with dfa so design a dfa over 0 and 1 such that the automata accept a string that starts and ends with different symbol now let us try to generate the languages for this so the language in which it is starting with 0 and ending with 1 
So the regular expression I can write it in this form. That zero, then zero plus one star and one. Similarly, the same thing can be possible with starting with one and ending with zero. So the regular expression can be one zero plus one star and zero. And if I want to make union of these two, I will get zero zero plus one star zero plus one zero plus one star and zero. And the DFA for this will be this one. So, I hope you understood how we perform union operation and we got the regular language. Let us take another property. The intersection of two regular language is regular. Now let us take L1 and L2 to regular languages. Then we want to say that L1 intersection L2 is also regular. Let us see the example. Let us say L1 contain the strings a, a square, a cube, and all this, and L2 contain a square, a to the power four, a to the power six, all the even powers of a. Then their intersection will be a square, a to the power four, a to the power six, and all this, and the corresponding regular expression will be. A A A A star. Let us try to design a DFA for this also. Design a DFA over zero and one such that the automata accept at least a zero and a one. Let us say L one is the language which contain at least one zero. So these may be the strings, and the regular expression can be one star zero zero plus one star. And for this particular language, I can have this as my DFA. Let us take another language. In this language, at least one one must appear. So these are my strings, and this is my regular expression: zero star one zero plus one star. And for the corresponding language, the DFA will be this one. And if I want to perform the intersection operation, it will be like this. So how I generated this diagram? You can get this from. the video in which i have discussed operations on dfa kindly see that one the third closer property of regular language is complement of a regular language is regular if l is a regular language over the set of alphabets then l1 is summation of sigma star minus l is also a regular language let us try to understand this with the help of an example Let L be a a cube a to the power five, all the odd powers of a. Then L one will be sigma star minus L, so it will contain epsilon a square a to the power four a to the power six and all this L. It means the regular expression for this one will be a a star. Let us try to generate a DFA and try to understand the complement. Design a DFA over zero and one such that it doesn't accept the string starting with zero zero. So, in order to generate complement, let us try to generate the DFA for those strings which is starting with zero. So, for starting with zero, this is my DFA. Q naught is the starting state, which zero transition came to Q two, and after that, any number of zero one may appear. And from Q naught, if I am getting a one. It is going to a dead state, and in the dead state, any number of zero or one will remain be in the dead state. Now let us try to convert this to a complement DFA. It means it should not accept L1. And I know that in order to convert a DFA to its complement, I need to I need to change the final state to non-final state, and all the non-final state to final state. I hope you understood this also. Still, you are having problem. Go back and see operations on DFA video. Let us take the last property. The difference of two regular languages is regular. So the theorem says, if L1 and L2 are regular languages, then L1 minus L2 is also a regular language. Let us take an example. Let us take L1 equal to a a square a cube a to the power four. And L2 is a square a to the power four, a to the power six, and all this. Then L1 minus L2 will be a a cube a to the power five, a to the power seven. So I can say it is nothing but a a is star. So let us try to understand this with the help of an DFA. 
So design a DFA over zero and one such that the automata accept even number of zeros and doesn't accept even number of ones. So the DFA that accept even number of zero is this one, and the DFA that accept even number of one is this one. I want to find the difference of L1 minus L2. It means my DFA is supposed to accept L1 but should reject L2. So even number of one supposed to be rejected. and the corresponding dfa will be this one i hope you understood these four closure property of regular language in this video we have not discussed any proof but we have taken example to make you understand in our next video we are going to take another four properties of regular language if you understood all the example give me a like and share it with your friends see you then take care bye